Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's uh, been a while. Uh, you guys uh, know that I've been <laughs> know that I've been busy. I we have just been focusing on um, doing the nursery, uh, converting our guest room into the nursery for our baby. And if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of the crib. Uh, there's still a ton of stuff in there, so I have to so much unpacking of you know presents after the baby shower uh planning that um so it's it's been pretty busy so i haven't been able to film but i am finally ready to do a first impressions on the new natasha denona retro palette and this is the beautiful packaging it comes in i don't know about you guys when I first saw the leaked vi uh, photos of this palette, I wasn't impressed. I'm like, I've seen it done a thousand times before. Like, I have all of those shades. And when I saw the actual uh, pictures of it, I did see that there were a lot of cool tones and, um, like, taupey tones in there that I really enjoy. Uh, so yes do i have some of these uh colors in certain palettes i do but uh i've gotten rid of most of i've used up most of my like rosy mauve tone palettes uh the closest um mauve tone palette i have is my uh charlotte tilbury pillow talk palette i think it's like the 12 pan one other than that uh, this would be the only one that I have. But what caught my attention about this palette was, first of all, this size. This is one of my favorite Natasha Denona uh, sizes. I think this is practical for those of us who are not makeup artists. Um, so it's just size, travel. I definitely prefer it to her bigger uh, pan palettes. I will be inserting uh, video shots of this palette out in outside in natural light and in sunlight. But I mean, can we just take a moment? And so there's an array of colors in here that I really like. Like for example, you have all of these shades right here are very cool tones like this one this one this one and dare i say because i haven't put it on my actual lid but this gives me cool tone vibes as well and so does this color now I've watched some videos uh, reviewing this palette and the swatches, um, but we all have different skin tones. And so I find that a lot of the times what you see in the palette may not necessarily be the way it looks like once you apply it. So I do like the fact that I can pretty much um, use this palette to go from day to night, uh, create a warm kind of uh, berry uh, look, something light, something every day, uh, something a little bit more cool toned if that's what I'm looking for. Uh, there, And another thing I like was that this uh, palette was not packed with a ton of shimmery shades. There's actually I think more, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's more matte shades in here that, um, than her other palettes, which I appreciate. You guys know I don't like too, too much shimmer, um, because her shimmers are very strong. It's not like, for example, Charlotte Tilbury kind of shimmer where it's almost looks like a satin, uh, not so much of that like high glam because I don't normally wear like a high glam look. Uh, so before we get started, and that was the longest intro ever, <laughs> let me tell you what I have on my face. Oh, okay, clearly I have a lot of stuff. 
I have my Bare Minerals uh, Original Foundation and Mineral Veil as my setting powder. If you guys are wondering, I am light. Uh, that's the shade I am in the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. And that would be number eight. At least that's what my pot says. I usually buy, get these sizes during Christmas time. It's the only time they release them. I am wearing my Chanel um, bronzer. This is a Soleil de Tan de Chanel. And believe it or not, guys, I have reached pan on this thing. It does have a slight scent to it. This is the original formula. This is not the new one. So I just had to start using it because I didn't want this uh, to get old. So we've got that. And then uh, for blush and highlight i use my tarte blush bazaar uh palette this is something i actually forgot i had in my collection and i actually thought it was an eyeshadow palette and then i pulled it out and i was like oh my gosh it's an entire palette of blushes so on my cheeks i have angelic and then uh as my highlight i have whimsical so these are the two shades I'm wearing. Highlight is Whimsical and Blush is Angelic. And this is the palette I'll be using this fall until I hit pan on every shade. And then I can move on to my other blushes because I also don't want this uh, to get too old and I can't wear it and it dries out the whole nine. All right, so I have my refer brushes in front of me uh, and I will just, they're all numbered. So when I use a Natasha Denona palette, I like to use my natural haired brushes. I find that it picks up her special formulas a lot better than my synthetic brushes. All right. So I like you, you can tell I haven't used this palette, so I have no idea what I'm going to start with. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna keep it uh, fairly cool toned. Uh, that's really what really calls my attention here. But who knows? This look may evolve in some way. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my refer number one brush. These brushes are all clean. Uh, I've wiped them clean. I haven't actually uh, washed them with water and soap. I was told that uh, natural hair brushes should be washed less often like not after every use because i wash my synthetic brushes quite often so you're just supposed to wipe them off and move on to the next color right i don't know that's what i was told i'm new to the natural hair brush world so bear with me so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with vivian and i'm gonna apply that with my refer number one brush all over the lid Oh yeah, I forgot to take off the plastic. Let's do this together, shall we? Because this, I got it. It was really stuck. It was really stuck on there. Yes. Okay. Now I can see myself. All right, so we're just going to use, uh, again, number one brush from Refer. Dip it into Vivian. And I'm gonna put that just all over the lid. This color is basically the color of my skin tone. It does have a very slight um, peachiness to it. Very soft, um, nude pink. So it's barely showing up on my actual eyelids. You just can see that very slight peachy pink let me zoom you guys in i've also i've also primed my lids with the bare minerals gen nude primer don't know if i mentioned that but i did prime my lids next i'm gonna go in with a transition shade and I'm gonna use my refer number 15 uh, brush and I'm gonna go into nude mauve down here and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that just in the crease.
oh that color is a lot darker than i was expecting see it just it looks really light in the pan but then you apply it and bam it's a surprise that's why i go in with a super light hand because that color is actually pretty deep at least on my skin tone it is if you guys have this palette and you have played around with it let me know if these shades seem to show up lighter on your skin tone let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side And I'm literally just dipping the tip of the bristles in that color. You guys can see that? That is really pretty. And this is a palette that although it launched in the fall time i see myself using this in the spring totally <laughs> all right let's move on i'm gonna go in with uh jude and that is this taupey uh shade right here And I'm going to use a slightly smaller uh, crease brush. I'm going to go in with number 14. This is my number 14 refer brush. And I'm just going to lightly uh, dip into that shade. Again, because we don't know how crazy this is going to show up. All right, so I'm just concentrating the color on the corner, the outer corner of the eye, kind of moving it downward, just keeping it in this section right here. And then just working that into the crease, just to create that slight taupey effect. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. So how have you guys been? What are your thoughts of this palette? Do you have it? Do you love it? I know this got a lot of, um, I don't want to say hate, but, but hate <laughs> because it you know doesn't look anything like its sister palette which was the little mini one and i get it i i truly don't know how relevant this palette is to that smaller one have no idea i don't really know i feel like this palette should have been named something different altogether i don't see the resemblance just like I don't see the resemblance in, and, and tell me if you guys feel the same, but I don't feel the resemblance in this mini Zendo with the bigger uh, Zendo palette. I just, I don't see it. I don't see it. So I've just applied that color all over the lid on the out, outer corner of my eye. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit because I actually love this color on the lid. I think Jude may be one of my favorite colors in this palette. Look how beautiful that shows up on the lid. You guys seen that? It's like a soft, shimmery taupe. I'm all about it. So 
So anyways, back to the whole palette's not looking the same. They don't. It's very strange. Like, you know, the Biba, ha I mean, the Glam has the Mini Glam, which makes sense. Uh, the Love and the Miniature Love palette, I can see it. But these palettes lately, no. I don't, I don't see it. All right, next I am going to go in with I want to try Helio. So let's go in with Helio. I want to keep this, like I said, neutral with a slight mauve. So I'm going to go in with my refer number two brush. It's clean, guys. I know it. Trust me, it is. I've wiped it no shadows coming off my skin we're gonna go into helio by the way that is one thing that with natural haired brushes uh it's gotten me a lot like taking me a while to get used to the fact that they're always gonna look stained when the bristles are white um unless you wash them with water and, soap. and even then depending so i'm gonna dip dip into helio very lightly with my number two and I'm going to apply that to the center of the lid. And this is a first impressions video. Like, I haven't touched this palette. Oh my gosh. Look at that color. And it works. It blends so well into Jude. That makes me really happy. However, I, I did watch her live stream on her, I can't remember. Yeah, it was on her channel or was it Sephora? I don't know. I watched the live video where she said that she wasn't done with the retro palette. So we should be seeing more of that coming our way and I'm excited about it. Okay, so now that I've just put Helio right in the center, I've left the space blank. I'm actually gonna go in with a my refer number 28 brush. And this brush, uh, I use it to pick up like her more special shades like psychedelic and glitz let me show you that so these two shades are those like special shades that she has um but for the sake of this video and you know the color scheme i have going on i want something that's gonna brighten uh that inner corner and I think I'm going to have to go in with, I don't know which one's cooler in tone. Mm, let's use Psychedelic. I don't know if Psychedelic's going to be too bright. I hope not. Mm. So I'm just putting that in the inner corner very lightly. So I will be doing a completely separate video with swatches of this palette because I also picked up a couple of other uh, palettes. So we'll be doing some comparison swatches. And she also said that her inspiration for this palette was for it to be like a sister palette to the Glam palette. Again, what does that have to do with the Retro Mini? No one knows. No one knows. 
because I, like everybody else, was expecting to have those beautiful like olive tone greens. At least one or two of those shades in here, but that wasn't the case. So I'm applying this with a brush. This, and it gives that very soft brightening effect, as you can see. But if I would to go in with my finger or wet my brush, uh, if I were to have the uh, Refer 21 brush, you, if I were to wet this brush and go into that shade, it would be very bright. And I think a little bit too bright for my liking, which is why I go in with a dry brush and I don't use my finger just because it's way too much for me. <laughs> I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. I think this is just enough of a pop. Next, I'm going to use my refer number 27 brush this is just a very clean fluffy brush and i'm going to soften the edges of my eyeshadow just kind of blend everything together all right next i'm going to go in with my refer number three brush and this is a really tiny uh, pencil brush. I do want to go in to the color apart. O part. Is that an O or an A? An O. O part right here. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that um, on the upper lash line. Just here on the outer corner. And then on the bottom again this is one of her matte shades and I have to say I love it so I'm only going halfway just to give me that like I'm only concentrating it on that outer just to open my eyes a little bit more. Now, let's talk about let's talk about that one leaked photo we all saw on Instagram of like an eyeshadow slash um, cheek palette that. I can't even remember what it was called or who posted it, but I do remember seeing it. I don't know if it was fake. I don't, I don't know. She also didn't talk about that in her live stream, so she said there was one more launch, but I think that launch is gonna be the mini um, gold palette. Uh, what is it called? It's the it's one of her like really big uh, palettes that everybody loves that has the gold and the green shades. She's making a mini version of that. So that palette that was leaked, I don't know when that's coming out or if it's even real. So it had like five shade like five eyeshadow shades. And then three different uh, face colors. Like I think it was a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. All in one. So. Who knows? All right. Now, I'm not going to go in with any more colors. I think this is pretty much what I'm good with right now. <laughs> I went ahead and I applied some mascara. I applied my Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I did use my Tom Ford uh, 
brow gel on my eyebrows and this is an espresso number four And I applied some of my Chanel uh, eyeliner in number 69, Claire. There's literally nothing left to this, but I'm going to use it until literally there's nothing left. And I just applied a little bit to the waterline just to brighten that um, up a little bit. And then I went in with my Natasha Denona I Need a New Nude Lip Crayon in, what is this, NP1 Natasha. And I lined my lips with that. And of course, what better lipstick to go with this palette than Natasha Denona's Amorosa lipstick. This is my favorite shade from hers. I love that it comes in like the hot pink packaging. I don't really know if this color is limited edition. I hope not because this is probably one of those like perfect nudes for me. That with like a very slight mauve undertone. And I think it goes perfect with this palette. Now, for those of you who don't know, her palettes have these holes in the back where you can um, pop them out and if you have, uh, rearrange them. But if you have other palettes of hers, you can actually remove shades from other palettes and kind of mix and match. Uh, but first impressions of this palette, I'm all about it. I love the look that this created. It was like a soft, cool toned, mauve slight mauve kind of eyeshadow look. I could wear this to work. Uh, I can go run errands in this. So this palette does have that capability. Yet you can make it super dark, super glam, and you can use the very deep tone shades in here uh, i think in my opinion the deepest shades are rebellion swing groove and amara and opart it's like a it's a nice balance of dark shades light shades taupe shades like cool tones warm tones i don't know i i think she did such a good job with this palette I just think it should have been named something else because it looks nothing like the mini the mini retro and can we talk about the casing i think the casing is the only thing that kind of looks like its sister palette um guys this is so pretty my favorite um casings that she has in her palettes are is this one and the glam that like gray pearlescent iridescent kind of packaging I'm all about it looking at the way that these uh, shadows blended together and meshed together I think they just work uh, you can't really see that there is a separation between any color um, it kind of does like this shift effect. Um, I don't want to say ombre because they're not all the same tone. But you know it kind of just they work so well together. There's not a harsh separation. They blend it out very easily. And those scary shades in her palettes are no longer scary to me. <laughs> because I discovered the um refer brushes and while i was at sephora somebody told me you need to try to get a natural hair brush that is designed to pick up those special shimmery shades in like the pat mcgrath or the Ta natasha denona palettes and number 28 came highly recommended by a couple people so i did pick it up and honestly i love it um, if you want an even lighter, cause I don't wet my brushes cause I don't like that like really strong effect. If you want an even lighter application, uh, brush number 21 from Refer will give you like a lighter effect. Uh, it picks up less product so you have a little bit more control, uh, than number 28. But yes, 
I, I really love this palette. This is right up my alley. I'm so glad that this is part of my collection. A lot of people said it was boring, but you know how it is in this channel. The more boring a palette, the more I want it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend and see you next time. Bye.